In everyday life, how do you simplify things? Remove the clutter? Organize what's left? Put things where you can get to them easily and quickly? That's exactly what the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009 Role Tailored User Experience does to your office workstation. It hides the features that you don't need to use, and it promotes the actions and information that you do need, leaving you with an uncluttered view into upcoming tasks. It helps you to prioritize your tasks and keep your work productive, stimulating, and fun. The most obvious visual change to Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009 is the new client with the Role Tailored User Experience interface. In order to develop it, we identified a number of roles in an organization and based the design on optimizing the user experience for these roles. The key element of the user experience is the role center. The role center is what users see first when they start Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009. Right now, Alicia, who is a purchaser, is logged on. As a purchaser, purchase quotes and orders are the very core of Alicia's activities. In the navigation pane, Alicia can only see the areas of Microsoft Dynamics NAV that are related to her role as a purchasing agent. At the heart of the role center is the activities area. This is where Alicia can see the progress of the main tasks that she's a part of. From activities, Alicia can see that she has 10 upcoming orders and 7 purchase orders to send or confirm immediately. This gives Alicia an overview of the workload ahead. It helps her evaluate exactly what she should start with right away. Alicia can also create new purchase quotes and orders directly from her role center. Alicia also has access to the lists of the vendors and items that she uses the most. My Vendors and My Items provide her with access to her favorite vendors and items, just one click away from the role center. This speeds up her work since the information is right there. My Notifications is an area that promotes collaboration directly from the user's role center, using data in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. The notification shows up on each notified person's role center, who can then take the appropriate action. In this case, Alicia is the one being notified. Our sales order processor, Susan, alerts Alicia that a customer wants a super cool ERP system to be put on their machine. By clicking on the notification, Alicia goes directly to the page where the notification was created. It's also possible to put a chart directly on the role center. Here, the chart gives Alicia an overview of her performance right now. Alicia also has access to Microsoft Outlook directly from her role center. Now Alicia doesn't have to open Microsoft Outlook to catch up with what's going on. It's right here in her role center. Before you start working with Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009, let's talk about how the navigation works. Start by clicking Upcoming Orders in the Activities part. Alicia gets a list of upcoming orders. The Upcoming Orders list demonstrates something about the new way of navigating. You always navigate through lists, which are called List Places. These List Places are like folders in Microsoft Outlook and they are where you can find an entity, in this case, an upcoming order, that you want to work with. On the right side, fact boxes help highlight information about the selected entity, and there's an action pane above. Now, let's go back to the role center. Here you use the back button, just like in Internet Explorer or Windows. Another way of navigating to a page or report is to use the search box. In case you need to carry out an action, it is available from the Actions menu. The actions that you are expected to use the most have been added to the Action pane. For example, the action for creating a new item. In the notification, Susan told Alicia that a customer wants a super cool ERP system to be put on their machine. The needed item is not yet in the system, 
so she creates a new item. To work with entities, in this case an item, there are now task pages. This is where Alicia works, views, or edits data. The task page is very different from the forms in earlier versions. One of the major changes is the fast tabs. Fast tabs are, as the name hints, faster to work with than ordinary tabs. For example, they allow Alicia to have multiple tabs open at the same time. Furthermore, Alicia can see the most important information on the tabs, even when they are closed. When a fast tab is expanded, all fields appear. But in collapsed mode, if important, they can be promoted to the Fast Tab header. Just as in earlier versions of Microsoft Dynamics NAV, Alicia gets the item number from the system. Now she types Microsoft Dynamics NAV as the item description. Under Base Unit of Measure, she needs to create a new base unit for the item. Now, let's go to the Item Category Code field. This is where you can truly see the benefits of Fast Tabs. Select the category Miscellaneous. As soon as Alicia changes the category code, some of the invoicing terms are changed, and Alicia can see this directly on the Invoicing Fast Tab without even opening it. FIFO is now changed to Standard. She opens the Invoicing Fast tab and updates the price. As soon as she closes it, she can see that the price of 100 is now visible on the Fast tab header. Now, let's go back to Alicia's Role Center.